Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at a, another survival base for you to use in your world. If you are too lazy or can't be bothered to set one up yourself and you simply want to paste one in to give yourself a good starting point. And I've never realised how phallic shaped the alien grass is before, it's really distracting. This little base over here has everything you need to get started. It's not overkill, it's the absolute basic. So it has the survival kit, it has two interior turrets, it's got some renewable power on there and a little bit of decoration. If I come to F10 and find the oasis, there it is, starter base. It weighs in at 315 blocks. So it's a very small base. In fact, I think it's smaller than some small vehicles I've showcased. But when you paste it in, you can just drop it in wherever you want when the base clips in and when the little stairs clip in. So it allows you to walk on up and go inside. But I'm just going to activate my jetpack and give you a little look around. So this is the main pillar, it's got the interior passages going around the outside with some lights to give it a, a nice glow. In fact, I will just change the time of day to night time so you can see what it looks like then. So here we go, we're in the dead of night and that's it from a distance. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Looks very good. Yes, we got the rounded blocks there, we got the slope blocks, we got some lovely solar panels going all the way around the outside and a ladder as a emergency escape around the back or if you wanted to get up on top of the actual base. Oh, I fell all the way down. Just come back up here. And if you wanted to go up here and access the guns from the very top, you can do via that ladder because that is your only way of going up without a jetpack. We do have some very unsafe blocks holding up the wind turbines, easily shot out by a drone, but that is the risk you take and you can finish them if you wanted to have that little bit of extra safety there. But yes, it's a very simplistic, but it looks great on the outside. So I'm just going to drop down here and it's time to go up these lovely steps made out of the sloped windows. All the way up to the top, we then have the door with the light on top where we had two little chairs sitting there for us to look around there and just gaze off into the distance. Getting off and opening the door we have an airlock so it is suitable for whichever planet or moon you want to start on. Opening up and going inside, the first thing we see is the cargo container. It comes ready with items inside it so you get a few basic tools, some guns, some ammunition, some hydrogen bottles and some oxygen bottles to kick yourself off. We then come across to the survival kit to respawn on and to process any stone you collect. We have a cryopod for a very quick little recharge. It's very handy to have if you don't want to wait around holding on to the survival kit's button with your F key. We've got a fake little bed here, you could replace it with the DLC bed if you wanted. But then we have a chair facing a firefly poster. The only thing I remember from that movie is the leaf on the wind part where suddenly that like tentacle thing just comes stabbing through the windshield and all that. Oh, on the opposite side, Beans were talking about the posters, we have another chair with a bed with Stargate SG-1 on it. Oh yes, those were the days, weren't they? Coming around to the side here, we've got our basic assembler all connected up to the cargo container so we are ready to use that instead of the survival kit. We then move across to a, another cryo chamber if you wanted a friend to come along with you. And last but not least, we have an air vent. But I have turned off oxygen in the world, so it's not going to do anything. But we've got a lovely view out the side there. Nice and safe from any kind of spiders or wolves. And we can see any drones approaching. For those who don't really know the point of these weird starting bases, or like, tiny mobile bases, it's essentially if you wanted to have a different way of starting a survival game. Instead of having the drop pod, you can simply delete the drop pod, spawn this in in its place, and you're basically good to go. Yes, it is a little bit of cheating involved, you do get the solar panels, you do get the wind turbine, but it is a nice alternative than having to start with the drop pod and building yourself up from there. This at least gives you a running chance if you're having a heavily modded enemy encounter mod installed for example. 
So as per usual, it will be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video somewhat soon. Bye bye.